Hi, second graders. You know how we've been comparing the numbers in school with using planets? We've compared the size of the planets. We've compared the distance from the sun and the temperatures. Well, heck, we were using negative numbers and numbers in the thousands. Today's work will be a piece of cake because we're only going as high as the hundreds place. So first, let's take a look at this little guy. He is going to compare the hun the, these two numbers. He's going to use our vocabulary words either greater than or less than. Okay, so he's got two numbers to compare. You can see he's got 235, and here he has 146. Now you might think to yourself, hey, there's more cubes here and here. This must be the bigger number. No, you don't do that. He wants to tell you, you compare the hundreds first. And here in the hundreds, there are two, and this one only has one. So no matter what you have for tens and ones, if the hundreds is greater, this is the greater number. So our little buddy says 235 is greater than 146. And this is that symbol. It, yeah. You know, it looks, I like to draw my little fish. This is what my second grade teacher had. Mrs. Nelson was her name. Then when I was a kid, there was a really popular video game called Pac-Man. And so Pac-Man, I would also think of it as a Pac-Man that wanted to eat the larger numbers. Okay, next page. Here's a young lady. Two numbers can have the same number of hundreds. Then what would you do, guys? She says, then you compare the tens. So for example, which would be less? 372 or 345? So as you can see, there's three in the hundreds and three in the hundreds. So now we have to compare the tens. Well, there's seven and four. Four tens is less than seven tens, so this number is the least, it is less than 372. So when you write it as a math statement, you'd write 345, and this is 372, and it's like this is the larger number, so Pac-Man wants to eat it. But when you read it, you'd say 345 is less than 372. Okay, now let's compare a number that has the hundreds and the tens the same. Then what would you look at? This little guy says you compare the ones. Here there are eight and here there are five. Which number is less? This number, 415 is less because these are the same, these are the same, but the ones are less than the eight up here. So they're going to write the final product as 415 is less than 418. But you could write it the other way around too. 418 is greater than 415. Okay, so let's take a look. Answer with greater than or less than. Let's compare this amount. 300 and this amount is 90. Is 300 greater than 90 or is it 300 is less than 90? What do you think? That's right, 300 is greater. Okay, let's look at number two. 609, so here are our 600s and 600s, they're the same. Now we have to compare the tens. There are zero tens. And in this number, there's one. So this has one and nine ones, 19, and this has no tens and nine ones. So 609 and 619, 609 is less than 619. Okay, this is my favorite part. I get to draw, I'm going with Pac-Man. So I would look at these two numbers. I'm going to look at the hundreds. This number is greater, so I'll put the symbol like that because this is the larger number. 
So I would say 233 is less than 333. Go over to number four, compare the hundreds and the hundreds. Same. Well, let's compare the tens. One is greater than zero. So this number is greater. So Mr. Pacman looks like that. And I would say 715 is greater than 709. 564, 560. Well, the five and the five are the same in the hundreds. 10 and 10, same. Four, zero. Four ones is greater than zero. So I'm gonna go like this. 479, 497. The fours are the same. Hmm. Let's go to the tens. Seven and nine. Nine is larger, so I'm going to go. Okay. I'm going to switch colors. This time I'm not going to do any talking. I want you to predict how it's going to be, and I'm going to count to three and then draw it. Five hundred and seventy-eight is large is greater than four hundred and seventy-eight. Okay, look at this one. Okay, yes, eight hundred and ninety is the greater. Okay, four hundred and ninety-five. Okay, number ten. All right. Good. So that is your Reminder about greater than and less than, and then in your take-home folder, you have a math page to do. So good luck, and that's for Thursday. Thank you.